My father was murdered in 2010, and I could have become a statistic what they expect me to be. Oh, her father's gone, she's just gonna have kids. I don't have any kids, and I graduated from college. A wave maker to me is somebody who takes control of their life um, educationally, spiritually, mentally, emotionally. Um, knowing that you aren't put on this earth just to be an average student. Maya is definitely a very outspoken <laughs> young woman. Um, she has blossomed into an amazing writer um, and an advocate for others that are, you know, have grown up in her community and. Um, have experienced similar life situations such as herself. I have a nonprofit for Daddyless Daughters, so I help young girls and women reconcile and regain control of their childhood through the creative arts. And so it's been really um, more inspiring for me to be a part of her life and her journey. As far as Dr. Christina Kelly being my cap coach, I love her. Her discipline and like her being able to talk to me was more like having a second mom or like an auntie who could be extremely real with me and tell me, no, Jemai, that's just not gonna work. <laughs> like we're, we're not gonna do that. Or like if I was getting too blunt or too outspoken, she'd be like, okay, Jemai, so we're gonna teach you how to like refrain from being so blunt, but stay true to who you are. And she's very supportive from me doing poetry, to me opening a nonprofit, to me public, like opening my first book, to me being college like. I love her, like she's gonna be my cap coach when I'm in grad school, even though they don't have a program for grad school. Like, she has a daughter. <laughs> she's just like stuck with me. I am from the community that Making Waves ultimately serves. I grew up in Richmond um, and I started volunteering with Making Waves when I was a senior in high school and, and I just never left. So I'm attending grad school in the fall for my MSW, which is my master's in social work. I'm planning on taking my GRE because I'm thinking about doing a dual degree and getting my PhD at the same time because I'm trying to keep up with her. I am so proud of you. I am excited about your future, about the success that you have coming forward towards you. And I am honored to be your coach.